I'm Koichi Nonaka. Today I would like to talk to you about the basic of ESD. I have performed ESD in more than 3,000 cases now and broke resection of mucosal cancer using ESD is possible. I can perform ESD in the hypophalanx, esophagus, stomach and colon. I will show you a video of simple gastric ESD. I usually use the dual knife provided by Olympus. Hyaluronic acid or glycerol with blue indigo carmine is injected into the submucosal layer. So you can see the blue submucosal layer. The addition of blue indigo carmine to the solution for local injection makes it easy to distinguish the submucosal layer and muscle layer. The procedure is just dissecting the blue submucosal layer. It is very simple, isn't it? It is completed within five minutes in simple case, as you see. The procedure will finish soon. Okay, finished. Of course, it may take two hours for difficult regions, since complications absolutely decrease as the operation time shortened. It is better to become able to complete ESD within a short time if possible. However, the important thing is to always perform ESD following the basics and safely complete it. This is the content of today's lecture. Firstly, I will explain the indication of gastric ESD. The indication of e gastric ESD is the lesions meeting these four conditions. It is considered that the presence of lymph node metastasis is very unlikely when the lesion meets these four conditions. Next, I go on to explain the actual procedure of ESD. The basic procedure of ESD is simple being comprised of only these four steps. ESD knives are roughly clarified, classified into needle type, bread type, and scissor types, and all show their respective advantages and disadvantages. In my opinion, you should use your favorite knife. Marking is performed using the tip of the dual knife, like this. I use the coagulation mode. For the esophagus, the soft coagulation mode is safe. For the stomach, I use 45 Watt of the forced coagulation mode. In the stomach, I apply markings at 3 to 5 mm from the boundary of the lesion. In the esophagus, it is better not to widen the marking because stricture after ESD is problematic. Since the border is clear in lesions of the colon, colonic ESD is basically studied without Marking. Firstly, 
Normal selling is injected into the local site. Hyaluronic acid or glycerol is injected into the swelling. Swelling by injection of normal saline alone does not last long. It is very important to ensure swelling. The point of additional injection is to inject the solution into the lower slope of the already formed swelling. When swelling starts, move the needle toward the lumen side. The addition of blue indiocalmine to the solution for local injection makes it easy to distinguish the submucosal layer and muscle layer. Blood vessels in the submucosal layer also become easily visualized. A U-shaped incision is made to prepare flap like this. It is safer to incise toward the lumen side. After incision of the mucosa, the incision line is traced several times to ensure cutting the muscularis mucosa. If the entire circumference is incised from the beginning, the locally injected solution flows out and does not effectively lift the lesion. There is a risk when an incision is made toward the invisible direction. So the beginners had better to incise toward the lumen side. This is a dangerous direction for beginners. Approach from the oral side or anal side is selected depending on the case. Operation in an inverted position more stabilizes endoscopy. Operation in an overlooking position is likely to be influenced by respiratory movement. The scope is slipped into the submucosa layer skillfully using the tip attachment. The most important point of ESD is the initial insertion of the scope into the submucosal layer. Once inserted, I just dissect this blue submucosal layer. If you push and press the scope before widely open the submucosal space, the knife touches the muscle layer which may cause perforation. Slipping into the submucosal layers is like turning over a shop curtain with the left hand and entirely the shop. When no blood vessel is present, sharp and speedy dissection can be applied using the cut mode. If there is a blood vessel, move the knife slowly. If there is a thick blood vessel, recoagulation is applied using hemostatic forceps. Dissection should be ensured on both sides. 
if fibers of the edge remain, the region cannot be turned over smoothly. The region should be dissected with a clear visual field. I will show you how to step on the pedal. It is better to step on the pedal intermittently like this. This method is safe for beginners. It is difficult to control the knife if you step on the pedal continuously like this. This method is a little bit dangerous for beginners. I don't recommend this method. Today I would I talked about the basic of ESD. Let's try ESD. Thank you for your attention.